Good evening, everyone. It's October 31st, 2024. I'm Cola B, and here are today's top stories. We start tonight in Spain, where devastating floods have claimed at least 95 lives, with many still unaccounted for. Torrential rain transformed streets into rivers, overwhelming residents in villages where entire communities have been left trapped in homes and vehicles. Southern and eastern Spain saw rainfall levels typically seen in a year, all within an eight-hour period. Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has warned of more rain to come, with some residents expressing frustration over delayed emergency alerts. Climate experts say warming Mediterranean waters may be fueling more intense storms in the region. With just six days until the U.S. presidential election, polls show an incredibly tight race between candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Harris, polling at 48 percent, leads Trump by a razor-thin margin of 1.3 points. Both candidates are rallying across swing states, particularly Pennsylvania and North Carolina, hoping to sway undecided voters in the final stretch. Amid this intense race, unexpected comments from President Joe Biden have put Harris on damage control, addressing backlash while focusing on unity in these critical last days. Turning to Canada, a recent report from the Parliamentary Budget Office reveals that Canada remains significantly behind in meeting NATO's defense spending target. Although Prime Minister Justin Trudeau pledged to meet the 2% of GDP benchmark by 2032, budget calculations reveal a $20 billion gap, with current spending projections only reaching 1.58%. With mounting pressure from allies and a possible Trump presidency emphasizing defense contributions, Canada's defense budget is in the spotlight. Meanwhile, Canada is identifying India as a growing cyber threat, according to a federal cybersecurity report. With a rise in international tensions and recent allegations linking India to cyber activities, security experts warn of possible attacks aimed at disrupting Canadian systems. Russia, Iran and China remain notable cybersecurity threats, but India's inclusion highlights an intensifying situation in cyber warfare. And on a lighter note, Halloween enthusiasts in Longueuil, Quebec, are preparing for a spooky treat. Known as the Nightmare on Empire Street, one house is drawing crowds with elaborate, handmade horror displays. Over 3,000 visitors are expected tonight to witness this annual spectacle where neighbors contribute to the fun. Residents are encouraged to come by, but only if they're ready for a good scare. That wraps up our broadcast for tonight. I'm Kola V, wishing you a safe and spooky Halloween. Join us tomorrow for more updates and stay connected. Thank you and good night.